<laughs> this is what's happening. So we're heading up to uh, Mammoth. We're gonna do some riding. Um, never been here before. Uh, should be fun. It looks like easy to intermediate trails. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kill it. <laughs> Boom! You're done. <laughs> What's happening, guys? We are finally making a trip. The razor has left the garage. It's been forever. It's been a hot summer. It is uh, July 27th, Friday. Should be out there mm, probably two, three o'clock. Setting up camp. We're gonna stop and get some gas, get some ice. Get some uh, trail mix. Some trail mix, somebody's hungry. We didn't eat. Oh, <laughs> starves, starves me. <laughs> We're making it. We're about uh, 20 or 30 minutes away from Glass Creek Campground elevations like close to 7,000 feet, you know what said? Temps dropping, it was 102, 103 the whole drive out, and now it's down to 88 degrees, so that's good. It's getting pretty. And Glass Creek Campground, there's 66 sites and they are all full. We drove around the entire thing, it's three o'clock on Friday. A lot of these people look like they've been here for days. Where they live here. But it is full. I mean, it's completely full. There is not one spot open. So we are going to try another campground down the highway, down the 395, maybe a mile back, called Big Springs. I don't have high hopes for it because it only had 25 spots, I think. And so the likelihood of there being something open if this one's full is not not good. But we'll go check. That was a mission. But we finally found a spot. The entire Inyo National Forest is camped on. There's literally nothing left. We drove every campground. Every spot was taken. Drove every fire road, logging road that we could find. Everybody was on every piece of everything. So last ditch effort, we just uh, pulled off this forest service road and found a spot that we could, uh, we could camp in. So. About three hours, two and a half, three hours of just driving around, looking for a place to camp. But we made it, it's nice. It's a good spot. Razor's out, KTM's ready. We just uh, poured a couple of drinks and we're just gonna relax a little bit. I'm pretty exhausted. Uh, dinner time soon. Nice spot though. Beautiful. Lots of trails everywhere. All right, good morning guys going for a ride. Put the spark arresters in. Doesn't sound a whole lot different. We're going to let it warm up for a minute and depart to camp. Get this thing turned on so we can track ourselves since we've never been here before so I don't think we can get turned around really. It doesn't look that complicated but why not have it on? go I get warmed up I just leave it like that and it'll track us
was steering a little bit funny on the way back, got a flat. And of course, the one time I didn't bring the spare tire, but it's not all bad because I bought this repair kit. Arb repair kit, tire repair kit patch, so kind of excited to try that out actually. We're gonna do some tire patching. Tire plug kit. We read the instructions. Lube. It's extra, highly recommended. Extra extra <laughs> lube. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright. So we found the hole. Luckily it's uh it was just facing up. Right there. Good little puncture. Looked like from a stick or something I probably ran over. So we're gonna go ahead and attempt this tire plug. Looks pretty darn easy. We read directions, of course. We read the directions. So it says lube. Yeah. It's the your good, poker. It's the good stuff there. <laughs> I don't think it said to do that. <laughs> That's all personal preference. You know, lube it or lose it. <laughs> you want to lube your puncture tool? I think oh, you yeah. spin it in there a little bit. It actually is rotating on its... It's because it's got a big uh, big hole. Nice size puncture in that thing. Yep. <laughs> and take your time with it. Dirty thoughts. No, no, no rush on it. <laughs> Slower the better sometimes. The bigger the hole the better. Not to, Well, I don't know about that. Well, in this case, yeah. Okay. Because uh, you want to make sure you can get those tar tar patch things in there. All right, so you always leave a little residue. <laughs> leave a little residue. <laughs> Let them know you were there. <laughs> so we got these thick, tar-like plugs. I can get one out of here. Good gracious. Oh, they're good. They're good tar. Yeah, they're they are. Tar. And your tool. plug insertion tool. Two. So you're supposed to feed it through there, huh? Yep. Good luck. Pinch it. Pinch the tip. Pinch the tip first. Good. Flatten it out. Good instructions. Gosh, this thing's sticky. Uh -uh. You gotta pinch it better than that. I guess you just gotta get it in there enough that it'll pull it through. But you want to get at least probably a half inch or something on the other side there. My 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 professional opinion, of course. I think. That's it. Well, oh, yeah, that'll work too. Maybe to go half and half. I don't think the instruction said that, but no, it's fine. Let's see. Yep, and then and then reverse it. So you're supposed well, to. Then you just hold that guy. Press and this pull down. Up. Yep. And then I guess. Oh, it looked like it filled it. Looked like it filled it. <laughs> Feel no air. I feel like you should like heat it up or something, you know, like torch it to like make it kind of melt to the to the rubber. I don't know. That thing's super sticky. Didn't say anything about lighting my shit on fire. No. <laughs> be, be be cool if you did though. Well, not light it on fire, but that's the pressure that I was running at right there. No leak. And you can't really cut off the excess because there's no excess to cut off, so. It's just gonna bond. It's just gonna bond. Hear another one? No, I'm just hearing stuff. It looked like it worked great. She's, she's Gosh, in there. that was super easy. That was uh, about four minutes. <laughs> Maybe, huh? Four, four and a half, according to the camera. Tire plug, ready to ride. Cool. And we're back. That's it. <laughs> All right, and uh, we'll be back on the trail shortly. And, uh,. Shredding. Shredding. That's what we do. Shred life.
interesting. Let it cool down a second. Uh, oh, that was fun. Cone life. Well, that was a good run. I like it over there, though. We got to go explore that area more. What's happening, everybody? We're back. Yeah. It is the end of Saturday, so it was our first day here riding, and it was really good, man. We explored a lot of different trails, a lot of different directions. Um, there's this main road that kind of cuts through camp here called Owens River Road. The east side trail system today, we didn't do this a morning. lot of it. This, this, morning this morning we did, yeah. We didn't do much this morning, but there's a trail right here, and it's literally a mile, and it's just whoops the entire time. Yeah, the first part of the trail is not great. It was they're really deep whoops. They're big whoops. But, yeah, we didn't get too deep into this side because I don't know. We, we started to, and then the cooler popped off the back of the, the razor. Yeah, lost the Yeti. Didn't realize it for like a half hour. <laughs> so, and luckily, we were the first people riding this morning. Nobody picked it up, so it was just sitting in the middle of the trail. And there's, then uh, yeah, we hit that. We hit day. that side over there. there there's a lot. There's that side's awesome. Ton, yeah. The west side over here on the other side of Owens River Road is like it's endless endless trail system over there and we could not you could not take every trail in a weekend you'd have to come over you'd have to come back weekend after weekend and probably explore all of them but it was really good yeah. not very many whoops on that side i mean there's some trails that were whooped but yeah. for the most part they're really fast flat um you know side by side wide yeah they're not real some of them are roads some of them are jeep jeep trails but we found some neat areas there's a big meadow over there that we were just launching through at like 70 miles an hour on the razor i didn't film that today yeah i wasn't going i was on my bike and i was going i was going i got about 50 and then it was it was smooth at the beginning and then about halfway through there was a bunch of just minor whoops like small they were small but they were just da -da -da -da, and it was just started throwing me everywhere so he was gone i couldn't see him and i, I had to i just slow down and just to get through him but but in that thing, that thing will fly right through those, no problem. So that that that'd be fun. We'll try to get some cool video of that yeah, tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow and tomorrow for sure. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just all trails. Trails just connect to trails. It's there's I, we don't even know where to stop or start. You yeah. know, it just keeps going. It's endless. It's crazy. It's really good riding though. It's a great area. It's beautiful. But it's fun. It's, it's a good time. time. It's yeah. always a good time being out. So for sure. So Definitely we'll pretty. If I could say, yeah. if anything, it's it's beautiful. If you like trees and you like green, <laughs> if this you is like the, the spot. Forest, <laughs> this, um, is, this is. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning. We're gonna just have a good night and get up tomorrow. Ride the crap out of that side, and we'll get, film it and get some good vids tomorrow. And yeah, for sure. See you next time.